How's it going everyone? Sinister here of the Gamer Section, here bringing you another review. If you enjoy our content, be sure to hit that like button and turn on the bell notifications. And now, today's review is, is a game called Drowning. Uh, what you see here is playing on the PS4, and I'm sure it's probably also on the PC. Um, you know, just like usual, gonna break down, you know, the graphics, the gameplay, you know, the challenge, uh, etc. Of course, the review score at the end. So, I want to get down to it. Uh, basically, this game is, it's basically like a first-person walking simulator. <laughs> you know, you, you can say it's like as you're walking along, you go, you see all this random text that you see in front of you. I think you kind of te tell from the stories like someone's like, probably like drowning in their sorrows kind of way because. Because usually at, at the start, because basically the game starts on year eight, and of course like, it probably goes from year eight and on, and of course as you are, uh, basically it tells like about somebody's life, and you see all this random text. You can, you, know, you can probably tell they, you know, probably had trouble fitting in, probably like a social outcast, that kind of thing. Probably had a hard time interacting with people, you know, that kind of thing. And so that's basically what it is. Just. You know, you're you're walking around the road. You're just basically just walking and reading text along the way. It's like, like I said, it's just you know walking with your thoughts kind of thing. And okay, now uh, as for the graphics, like, oh uh, the graphics. I mean, in a way, it, it's okay. But you know, it, as far as on on the console at the PlayStation Four, it it just looks like some like you know, some you'd see on the PlayStation Two, or obviously, <laughs> or obviously the PlayStation One. You know, because I mean the way it's textured, you know, seeing like all the fun forming trees, you know, seeing the road, you know, and of course, I mean, it's great use of shadow, you know, because basically you can see the colors in here, like, you know, like the shade Indians and things like that, for example. I mean, yeah, you can see like every blaze of grass along the way, but however, it just, in a way, the graphics are okay, but, you know, just not really up to par, like, as far as like, on the PlayStation 4, because usually you think of high-res graphics, you know, that sort of thing. And you know, as far as the gameplay goes, well, there's really not much gameplay, because basically all you're doing is just walking around the road, just reading, seeing random text, it's basically as you're reading along, because like I mentioned earlier, you're basically just walking around with your thoughts, you know, this, and usually like a game like that, someone can get, just get be bored real easy, like for anybody who has short attention spans, usually this game is basically not for them I mean for anybody else like you know who likes these games you know like the retags and you know like oh don't want you know too much of you know gameplay or a challenge you know basically drowning is just for you because yeah, I mean it's basically right up your island's like I mean of course we all have our own tastes and things like that but for games like this and you know if it caters to you I mean it, and it's great and you know I mean it's it's great that, you know, you have something, you know, you can fall back on. It's like, oh, you don't feel like doing mindless, you know, action. Mindless, you know, shooting or sports games and stuff like that. You just probably want a simple game. Like, hey, with good reading or probably you think of it as a good story. Like I said, Drowning is the game for you. And of course, you know, and of course, last but not least, uh, what will I give the score of this game? Well, for me, unfortunately, I have to give this game at least a 2 out of 5 because... Uh, basically, there's not much to do on this game because basically it's all it is is just a walking simulator. You just you're walking a first person. You don't see your character at all. And of course, like however, like well, as far as the pros go, I mean I love the music, you know, because you know because it has that mood like oh it has like a negative vibe, you know, kind of mood and things like that. And of course, probably you know you go further along the game, you probably have some happy moments, and you know of course the music will change with it, and like. You know, goes with your mood effects, but however, a game like this, like for someone who's probably not, you know, like this kind of genre of games, this game is not for them. They're probably going to stay away from it, or if they do try, they're probably going to try for a few minutes and just put it down and probably not pick it up again. But or to anybody else who love these kind of games, hey, this game is just for you. You know, you just basically you're just walking with your thoughts, you know, that kind of thing. So, uh, basically, uh, just tell me what you think. You know, leave your comments down below. This is Sinister of the Gamer section, and be easy.